In this section, we are going to see how to install and download Node.js. As we have already seen, Node.js is a JavaScript runtime which is built on Chrome's V8 JavaScript engine. Previously, we have seen JavaScript was only used as a front end language. Later on, when Ryan Dell, he embedded C programming inside Chrome's V8 engine. So, Ryan Dell, after embedding C programming, into Chrome's V8 engine, he developed Node.js. Okay, because of this Node.js, we can run JavaScript outside the browser, that is inside the servers. So now we are going to see Node.js. Maybe if you are having laptop, maybe some applications use Node.js as the dependency and maybe that is already installed in your system. So to check that one, I'm just going to open this command prompt. I will open now inside this I'm just going to write here node minus v hyphen v now if you see here node is not installed in my system it is showing node is not recognized as an internal or external command operable program or a batch file okay which means node.js is not installed in my system now I'm just going to install this one I will minimize this just write here node.js download Come to this official website node.js.org. I will click on this. Okay, based on your operating system, Windows, Mac OS, whichever operating system you are using, you can just download this one. Inside home, we are having this download for Windows. About okay, they have given some examples here. You can just go through this one. Inside this downloads, I am using Windows. This is LTS long term support but now in this i'm just going to install this current okay latest feature now you can see current version is 19.1.0 and also it is going to include this npm npm you don't have to worry it is node package manager 8.19.3 when we learn more advanced javascript then we are going to see about this npm and everything now i'm just going to install this I'm going to install this Windows 62-bit.msi. I'll just click on this install. Okay, it is around 29.4 MB. I have just downloaded this one. Now it is around 29.4 MB. So let it download this one. The downloading is complete now. I am just going to double click on this. And it is going to open this welcome wizard. I will just click on next. I am just going to accept this agreement. I will just click on next okay this is okay by default it's just going to select this part I am just going to select this one I will click on next and also it is going to add to the path okay I'm just going to click on next okay automatically installed this chocolatey okay, this chocolatey is nothing but it is npm for windows as I already told you npm we are going to study later npm is nothing but it is node package manager but when we are installing this node.js npm it is going to include npm by itself okay i want this chocolatey so i'm just going to check on this and i will just click on next if you don't want that one you don't have to check on that and directly you can just install node.js but for my future projects i need that chocolatey so i'm just going to install that one as well i will click on install okay it will take few minutes to get it installed in our system okay let's just wait for this Okay, now it is completed. I will just click on this enter. Now I am just going to open my command prompt. Now inside this, I will just write here node hyphen v. Okay, it is going to show me the version, which means I have successfully installed node.js inside my system. And also I am just going to check npm version. Okay, now you can see this is also installed in my system. Okay, if you don't want that chocolatey, you just have to uncheck that one and only node you have to just install. Once you install node, okay, by default it is going to install npm as well. Okay, this is how we are going to download and install node.js. Okay, now I am just going to show you how to execute JavaScript using node.js. I will just open my terminal, control shift tilt. As you can see, I have right. I am writing this code inside this D drive, but I have installed Node.js inside my C drive. So when I try to execute, I will be getting error. 
I will just write here node trip dot js. You can see I will be getting this error. The term node is not recognized as the name of command. Okay, I'm just going to get this error because this node is not present inside this D drive. So I'm just going to come. I will come to C drive. And here I am just going to create. Okay, here I have just created one folder, new folder. Let me just delete this one. I will open terminal. I have just opened this Visual Studio code. Inside this, let me just create one file index.js. Now here I am just going to write console.log. Let me just write here hello. I will save this. Control shift tilt. My terminal will be opened. Now if I just write here node index.js. It is just going to give me the result. You can see it is going to give me the result. And also I can just check the version. You can see version is also displayed. If I just write here node. I will come inside this node terminal. If I just write here dot help. You can see all the related all the helps I will be getting from here. Okay, this is how we are going to execute JavaScript code using node.js. Okay, we have seen how to install and download node.js. And also we have seen. How to execute our JavaScript code using Node.js. So as I have installed this Node.js inside this C drive. So I am going to create a new folder inside C drive. And we are going to get started with basic concepts of JavaScript.